Good morning. We tend to focus on outwards instead of inwards. And we think the problem's out there. It's always inside us. When somebody comes to us with anger, hurt, frustration, um, something like that, that's on them or that they don't like you, they want you to change, they want you to be different, um, whatever it is. Or maybe they just don't want to be with you anymore or be around you anymore. That's on them and has nothing to do with you. And same thing with you. If you find yourself in a difficult situation where somebody else is causing you to be upset, angry, frustrated, anything like that, that's on you. Also, if you're feeling somebody else brings you happiness and joy, and although they can, I mean, so it comes from you though, inside you. They're fun to be around, so you're having fun with them. The other people over here aren't very fun to be around, then that's why that connection happens, right? But you can still be happy and joyful around the people who aren't fun to be with as much as you can with the people who are fun to be with. But you get to choose both. You get to choose how you feel at all times. You get to choose the thoughts that you're thinking. The thing, the thing that comes in is we're so programmed to blame everybody else instead of realizing, oh, that's us. So when we're in a, a love relationship and the other person does something we don't like and we're like, hey, they shouldn't do that. Well, that's what they chose to do. Now, yes, you have boundaries, of course, and you have things like, you know, you shouldn't go cheat or you should, you know, stuff like that. But if that's what they chose to do, then now it's on you on what you're going to choose to do. Are you going to choose to stay? Because the likelihood of them doing it again is probably pretty high. Yes, there have been, you know, one and done times, but really <coughs> they have to work on that themselves. They can't, they can't um, blame it on you, right? And I do see that <laughs> a lot. Um, but when, uh, when you realize who you are and what you're capable of and what you deserve, you're, you're not settling. You're not settling anymore. If somebody yells at you all the time and you're like, wait a minute, why are they yelling at me all the time? And um, you go, I don't deserve that. Then you get to choose to change you. If you are being responsible for everything and again, you know, you're like, wait, we should be both sharing this. Um, then again, that's on you to choose to change it. And the simple thing is, is the more you focus on something, the more likely it's coming into your life because it's all about mind matter and what you think about is what you're asking for. So if you stop thinking about that, and a simple, a simple thing was that I, I used to think um, for like the longest time I was in a, in a difficult marriage and I used to think um, at, at a point in my life I went, okay, this is what I want. I know what I want now. I know what I can ask for. I didn't know before that I could just ask for stuff. So I said, okay, this is what I want. I would like a better relationship. I would like to have a loving, kind, uh, romantic um, relationship where we communicate easily and um, and we're able to have fun together. I would like my partner to be a great dad who really wants to spend time and have fun and joke around with and play with instead of being angry all the time. I would like them to be happy. Not that they can't be upset about something, but that I'd like them to be happy and, and to work on themselves, definitely to work on themselves. And the more I focused on that, the more it happened, but not with my, um, not in my first marriage that grew, we grew further and further apart. And I didn't understand because this is what I was asking for. And then I started letting go and letting go and letting go. 
And the more I let go, the more I realized that the universe was making way for somebody else. It wasn't about me and my first, it was about me and my second that I was asking for. So sometimes it works out the way we're not even expecting it to, but just let it flow, let it flow through you. Let, start letting go, start um, allowing things to happen. And this can go for anything, not just love relationships, friendships, money, career, whatever it is. Just keep focusing on what you want. Write it down and believe it can happen. Believe, believe you deserve this because you do. You deserve the best life ever. I love you.